Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. It is April 29th from Bethesda. We've had an eventful morning so far, I think. That boy on his Starbucks. She put me on to, what is this? You're in? It's, it's um, so what I get, welcome back to another weekly vlog, by the way. So I get the venti shaken espresso, not the brown sugar, brown sugar cinnamon shake it no i just get the regular venti shaken espresso with oat milk two pumps of cinnamon caramel syrup two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and no classic did i say oat milk yeah so i ended up starting to get that drink once the brown sugar cinnamon was always sold out because everyone was getting it but then you could still always get the regular shaken espresso so i was just like why can't i just make my own drink with the shaken espresso like same thing Anyway, so yeah, we're in Bethesda because we had to come pick up our, well, my Jared ring. Oh, the bag's all crushed up. So yeah, I finally got my ring in. I'm so excited. Excuse my nails. Like, I really need to get them done. They look horrible. Um, Bradley's ring didn't come in because I think he was, the guy was trying to scam him. No. That's, <laughs> how would you say that? <laughs> you said it first. Okay, Bradley's ring was ordered incorrectly, so his ring didn't come in he wanted yellow gold but they ordered a, a white gold for him so we're still waiting on his ring but yeah so we went to, came to bethesda for that and then i ended up doing a sephora order which i didn't know it takes like up to two hours to get their order like to get the order to be able to pick up like for it to be ready to pick up so i ordered it like an hour ago and i was still waiting checking the app it was not ready but i ended up calling and i was able to pick it up in like an hour just because i was bothering them and i actually walked in so it's ready i can show you guys what i got later not right now in the car um now we're headed to joe and the juice because i've been wanting to try it and Bally's gonna come with me yep i want to try their tuna avocado sandwich which i heard is like amazing um, I will show you one thing that I got from Sephora though. I got their like plumping lip gloss and I'm wearing it right now and it's tingly. It's like very tingly. I like it. Do you see a difference? Yeah. It's plumping? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's help, like good or not. Yeah. You want some? No. When you kiss, oh, you should kiss me. No. Come on, babe. I'm good. <laughs> no, just kiss me a little bit so you can feel the effects. I don't feel is like it cold? Know. Just wait on it. Just wait. Don't feel it. <laughs> Rub it in. Just let me know when you start to feel it. Anyways, yeah, guys. So we're driving around. Why my tongue burning? <laughs> It feels like minty, like icy or something. Feels really good. Should I roll the window up? Yeah, it's loud. Oh, You're my vlog. You even tell me to roll the window. my vlog. Probably did. It's fine. Um, what was I saying? Okay, yeah. So went to Starbucks. So we walked to Starbucks with Ava. Then we drove to Bethesda, got the ring. Not. Then we went to Sephora, walked around. Um, oh, was that downtown it. Bethesda? Feel you feel it, right? Yeah. I feel nice um was that downtown bethesda i don't know where that area was but it was, nice. really, it was really nice they had um a lot of restaurants and shops and stuff they had a unique low a what a unique low what's that it's like streetwear i think oh yeah they had a bunch of stores they had um a bark bark house one of those like doggy restaurant places um yes yeah, so that was really nice and then now we're heading to the bethesda joe and the juice so we're gonna try the sandwich, I'm excited. And whatever else they have there. And then what else, babe? What else do we have planned for, I'm for the hang day? With Alex later. No, don't leave me. We I'm need to beat that dang boss on Overcooked. Now. <laughs> We've been playing Overcooked two and games. Overcooked two, and we're on the last level, like the last level of the game. And we can't beat it because it's really hard. It's like this meatball that you have to feed spaghetti hands. with spaghetti hands. If you've played Overcooked on the Switch, then you know what I'm talking about. But if not, then sorry. I can't help you. Um, yeah, guys. So I'll just check in later when we go to Joe and the Juice because I'm really hungry. 
and I feel like I'm rambling, so. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs> That's yeah, good. It's got carrot and ginger. Okay. Wow, yeah, it's like thicker. It's good. It's really good. So, mine's a tuna pato. It has a TC on it. I didn't know mine came with avocado. Mine's got vegan pesto. Vegan pesto. Hey guys, okay, so it's a lot later. Excuse the mess behind me. I'm about to start cleaning the entire apartment. Like, I just got this burst of energy to like go on a cleaning frenzy. Ava, why are you licking me? Ava would like to say hi, y'all. Ava would like to say hi, y'all. Mm -mm. I know. I know my baby. I know my baby. Yes, you are all the loves and all of the attention. Mm -hmm. I love you, but mommy has to film right now, okay? Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. Let me film. Uh. Let me film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's so needy. Anyways, so guys, I just want to come on here real quick. It's a lot later. Um, When we got home... That's the thing you saw. I think we we're at Joe and the Juice. We got home. We played um, the Switch for a long time. We beat the boss on Overcooked. Um, this is really bright. We beat the boss on Overcooked. So that was fun. We got snacks from Whole Foods. We were just like snacking and playing video games. It was just, just a good time. And then I played Sims. He fell asleep. And then we just like spent some time on the couch. We pretty much spent like. The majority of the rest of the day on the couch just chilling which was nice um but yeah i just want to come on here excuse my appearance i've been chilling all day i literally just put my hair up because i had it all out in my afro i need to wash it too so that's something for tomorrow that i need to do so it's a little bit frizzy right now but i wanted to come on here and show you guys what i got from sephora because i don't shop there that often but when i do i shop okay well i only got like five or six things but i spent like a lot more than what you probably think I spent. So, first of all, 
first and foremost, I ended up getting the Belief um, Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner. So we have already been using this. I don't know if you can see that. Um, we've been using this actually for a while already. Why is this not? There we go. So yeah, we've been using this Belief Toner for um, the Aqua Bomb Toner for a while and we love it. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It comes in this pretty big bottle but bradley and i share it so oops so um yeah we just bought another one of those because we we're running out we ran through that pretty fast actually the both of us um ava's gonna start eating right now of course so if you hear crunching that's what it is um the next thing i got is a rose quartz facial gua sha which i'm so excited about because I've been wanting one of these for a while. I've been like watching a ton of like TikToks and Pinterest videos, lemonade videos. If you're on lemonade, follow me. I'm at the Bell Doc Lemonade. Um, yeah. If you haven't heard of lemonade, by the way, it's like a new lifestyle um, app. I think it's gonna take once there was like rumors that TikTok was gonna get shut down or whatever. So everyone was migrating to lemonade. I love lemonade low key more than TikTok a little bit. Um, but I'm like a still photo like girl so i just i enjoy i enjoy video as well obviously but anyways check out lemonade if you're not on it yet but yeah so i got myself a gua sha because i've been seeing it everywhere and i really want to try i've also been having like just some tension here in my jaw so i i, I know it's not like a massager but i do want to just kind of like get some you know blood flow and stuff going in those areas which i'm excited about next i got picked up this multi-peptide lash and brow serum from ordinary and um ever like i was doing lashes back to back to back um lash extensions for a while and i just feel like my lashes just never returned to their full length or like volume so i'm really excited to try this it comes with this like applicator brush it's like a thin applicator brush like that so yeah i'm gonna be using this on my brows and my lashes so i'll let you guys know how that is when I try it okay so next I already told you guys about this but I got the Sephora plumping lip gloss which Bradley and I loved very much I'm actually gonna put a little bit on right now just for fun because I just like how it feels <laughs> um not too much because I'm literally not going anywhere Mm -hmm. love that oh my god it's tingling already i love this um yeah i'm a fan and i really like this color very natural um next i got my staple acne control clarifying cleanser from mirad i don't know if that's how you say it mirad mirad um with 1.5 percent salicylic acid if you're like me and you struggle with like any type of body acne i have like semi back acne i used to have it really bad in college like when i would wear backpacks and stuff again i don't know if that was the reason like because i was sweating and whatever but it's definitely cleared up so much more since i've been using this and just like treating my back as if it was like another part of my face or just your skin in general you should treat it so yeah this saved my life like i love this stuff so much so pick that up if you have any type of like body acne and then um this is what I'm most excited for. So I got the Dennis or Dr. Dennis Gross's Alpha Beta Daily Essential Three Step Kit for your skin. So this is for my face, obviously. So it's a three step system. It has the um, cleanser, which is this bottle, and then it comes with these peeling, um, the daily peel like wipes. So use that next and then you go in with the daily moisturizer. So it's a three-step system. I'm really excited um, to try this. So I haven't had like crazy skin problems, but I just get like scarring here and there. And this is supposed to help with scars and blemishes and just like acne in general, just to like clear everything up. Um, so yeah, I heard about this from another YouTuber. I don't remember who exactly. I'm trying, literally was trying to remember who was talking about this on their video and I can't remember now. So sorry, but yeah, 
Um, I've been hearing about this. I love Dr. Dennis Gross. He um, makes just really great products. And also I have his, um, what's it called? I have his humidifier, not humidifier. His like steamer thing, the steaming machine for your face. I got that at Sephora as well a while back. So, and I'm like obsessed with that thing. So yeah, I'm gonna use the steamer with this and like let's see how this skin like transforms to be honest so that's all i got i ended up spending i think around 100 upper hundreds like 180 190 maybe i think on all this but they're all pretty like big products and they should last me a while so yeah guys that is my little sephora haul um so yeah i'm gonna start like cleaning up and stuff because the apartment's driving me insane i just realized like the clutter in here is just it's getting out of hand like i just keep accumulating things and i'm not getting rid of things at the same time so that's what i need to do like i just need to go through things and just like create a pile of junk and just get rid of it and then i also need to like do the bedding like i need to wash my bedding reset the bed which is perfect time because bradley left to hang out with his friend and he went to this place called he told me what it's called and now i don't remember the name what's it called punch bowl social it's in arlington it's like a little like social club restaurant type place so um he was like if you want anything to eat let me know i haven't eaten since joe and the juice and it's eight o'clock now it's kind of late so i don't know if i'm early eat i might just make a smoothie honestly and just call it a night i was also sitting on the couch working on my lemonade put my first lemonade post and i'm excited about it because i want to do like an intro post just like hey guys this is me like this is who i am kind of thing so i'm excited about that i've been working on that and i'm just like getting a hang of the app in general it's kind of hard um but yeah if you haven't heard of it the app looks like this that little yellow app it says lemon eight um but yeah let's get cleaning because i'm just literally rambling so much but yeah we'll look clean nice to the camp director talk nice <laughs> thank you miss kk so edit you come in there's gonna be a line whatever be
own disability But gave me this ability And now she walking with her head high And I'm back straight I don't think you're feeling me I'm out here being everything They said I wouldn't be or couldn't be I don't know what happened to them guys That said they would be I said see you Good morning guys Um, happy Sunday I literally just finished Um at my doctor's appointment. I was supposed to get blood work today to check my like like panels, just like blood panel in general, like sugars, lipids, all that stuff. But I wasn't able to do it today because the tech wasn't in and they didn't tell me that. So I just did like my, my new patient consultation and my blood work will be next Saturday. So yeah, I had a busy morning already. I washed my hair, like I woke up early-ish, um, washed my hair, had my appointment, and I just grabbed Starbucks. So um, I got my favorite drink right now, the ice shake and espresso, which the one I told you guys yesterday. Um, the only reason I'm getting Starbucks is because I'm going to get my nails done now, so I won't be able to go home. And our Nespresso hasn't delivered, so I actually don't have any coffee at home. I swear, this has every time. It's so good. I love it. And then I ended up getting the Beyond um, Impossible, not Beyond, Impossible Sausage Sandwich. Breakfast sandwich, it's my favorite. So I'm gonna grab on this. I still have no idea what I wanna do with my nails this go around. Only because I thought they would have been a little bit longer this time because I did dip last time. So you know how it's your real nail, it's not like a an extension or whatever. But literally like my nails, like some of them have literally broken off. So they're just gonna have to be short again because I don't wanna add a fake nail to it. I just want the SNS. Oh. So, I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do with my nails. I also don't have an appointment for the nail salon, so I'm praying that they just take me. Hmm. But it's nearby, so it's not like a huge deal if they can't. I just don't wanna keep looking crusty. Like I don't wanna go back to where I'm looking crusty. Also, there's a Mayweather gym right here. That's really cool. Like it's a boxing gym. And I kind of want to get Bradley um, membership there. Because I feel like he would really like it. I kind of want to see if they're on class pass. But yeah guys, it's a rainy day. Gloomy day. Everyone's been really nice to me today. Like I just feel like good vibes today. Which I'm happy about. Um... Mayweather box. Oh, yeah, Mayweather boxing. Oh my god. Yeah. This is the Navy Yard one. But yeah, they have it on here, so I need to tell them. Current location. Uh, what? Why doesn't it pick up this Mayweather boxing gym? Oh, here we go. But it doesn't pick it up. 4K. Maybe this one's not on class pass. That's weird. Anyways, I'm gonna head to the nail salon. I need to figure out what I want to get for my nails. And then we need to head home and do just some week prep. We have our budget meeting today, Bradley and I. We do our weekly budget meeting on Sunday. We're getting better at it. Okay. We haven't been that consistent, but we're getting better at it. Um, the closer to the wedding we get, the more finances are a priority. So we just need to be on our stuff. So yeah, let's go get our nails done, y'all. All right, guys. So just finished my nails. I ended up going with. Oh, ended up going with the natural French tips. I love them so much. My girl Sarah always does such a good job. So, yeah, I'm just glad I'm not looking crusty no more. Okay. So, yes, I feel clean. I feel good. Um, we're going to head home now and 
keep on going. It's about one o'clock now. So yeah, I have a few more things to do at home, but it's been a pretty productive day so far. No complaints. Pretty much the setup that I'm gonna go for mm -hmm. because I don't, we don't really need to show each individual one. Yeah. On here, we can just see the total. Right. Um, and for then, us together. Yeah, and then for the flexible, it's the same exact way. Like, I just show the total. I don't, we don't really need to see individually. If you really want to see the individual ones, that's where the individual finances tab mm -hmm. is going to come into play. So if you click Izzy's finances, that's going to be the detailed breakdown on your fixed and your flexible. So you can see like, okay, this is where I'm Canva. At. So sorry. So like with Canva, it is like a month. The monthly amount is fixed. So wouldn't it be considered fixed? Well, it's, it would be more so flexible because it's something you can choose to have. Like for me, student loans would be fixed because it's not something that I want right. to vary. I thought I thought flexible meant like it could change per month how much it's going to cost. Mm. No, flexible is usually like something that's flexible in your spending. Like it's more of a want than it is a need. So you like for Apple Music. So all my subscriptions like Splice, Adobe, DistroKid, Did you, Serum. You didn't put Apple Music. I don't pay for Apple Music. Oh, right no, now. True. But I could put SoundCloud Go because I'm going to be paying for that. Gotcha. Code code plus, I think. Oh, now I gotta put um, Hello Fresh, right? But we would put Hello Fresh under the joint. Yeah, yeah. The shared expenses. Yeah, and we would add that to. We could, we could. I was going to say we could track that under. Um. On, on the overall monthly budget added to our shared flexible expenses. So I'm still working on this. I don't know if we per se need that tab, the shared okay. expenses tab. Because, here. Yeah, instead of having, instead of separating these out into another worksheet, I just thought about putting them in, in the overall monthly budget instead of like typing it, like referencing it when I could just have it live here, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so we can just add HelloFresh to the flexible now there. Same way it would be like the gym membership or something. Got it. Okay. already getting into the Costco food. We've been here for five seconds and he's already eating the pistachio. I'm just gonna bake. We got, ow, bam. Bam. That's it. Your boy was Kipo for you. Kirkland and We got some Wild Wonders Gourmet Medley tomatoes. I love these so much. Change the game. We got pistachios that Bradley's eating. We got Kitty Pop because I'm a snacker and I'm trying to snack better. We got, this is Bradley's fault. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Caramel macchiato. We never drink creamers, but like, when did we have creamer and then that made us want it? What? See? That's why we don't go over there no more. No, just <laughs> we went to his brother's house and he gave us coffee with creamer and it was so good. So we saw this and it's decent for the ingredients compared to that the light stuff. It's 40 calories for one tablespoon and only five grams of sugar. No, six, sorry. Five grams of added sugar. And then we got some spring mix. Good old spring mix. Wild caught salmon. 
only wild caught. None of that farmer stuff. And then we got some raw unfiltered honey because I want to start incorporating more honey into my diet. Our favorite protein bars. These are the True Bar, Cookie Dough, and Dreaming Daydreaming About Donuts. Um, they're actually really good. They don't have that nasty protein flavor. And it's pea protein. So no way, no breakouts. And women owned too. And women owned. I didn't know that. I think way to go, babe. Is it part two women? True bar. We got some, what are these, Fuji apples, right? Yeah. Fuji apples, because they're cheaper than honey crisp. And last but not least are, how many eggs are these? Is this 18? How many eggs are it? says, I don't know. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's woman owned as well. And guess what, babe? There's a black hand on the box. That's a good sign. Black hand? Yeah. There's a black person holding the bar and a white person on this side. Oh, man, that's crazy. Inclusive, inclusive. Anyways, that's, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna watch this YouTube video back? Probably. Okay. You make sure you make fun of you. I'm gonna hold you to it. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, that's our Costco haul. Okay, now I gotta put it all away. <laughs> well, guys, it's a lot later. Made us some kale smoothies for dinner because we ate a lot today. So, keeping it light. But yeah, it's kind of the end of the night. Probably just gonna um, get ready for bed. It's only like 8.30, so I'm probably just gonna chill out, chill out for a little bit. I feel like I had a really, really eventful and just productive day. So, I feel pretty accomplished. And I have to be at work bright and early tomorrow, so let me get some rest, and I'll see y'all in the morning. Everybody's 35 and under That's when I'm planning retirement 
it's already funded. Yeah. I brought your wifey out the same morning. She violated, I sent her back where it all started. How quick they are to forget about their bachelor apartment. Leave it, leave it like you could show them light in the darkness. Ava. Hi, Papa. Ava. Hi. Come. Kiva. Kiva. Hi. I know. I know. Hi, Mama. Oh, she doesn't want us to leave. Right, babe? Things are happening. Things are happening. Making moves. We're on our way to Home Depot. Very spontaneous, middle of the week. Um, yeah, you guys probably haven't seen me since the other day when I was going to work out. I haven't filmed much. But um, that's just how the week goes. Yep. And we'll kind of fill y'all in when we get in the car because we just had a, what, hour discussion? It's like over an hour of me venting about everything that's just been on my mind, so. Existential crisis. Existential crisis, honestly quarter and a half life crisis not even a half quarter and a just a quarter life crisis let's just let's just leave it at that about to give y'all my age hey guys so we're on our way to home depot i don't really know how to like put all this into like one synopsis to be honest but basically I have left the matrix. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Yeah, like I just. You haven't officially left. No, I've been. My my mindset is shifting quickly, and I think I'm just uninterested in this like trajectory that we've been heading in in terms of like life um, and what it is society tells us that we should be doing at this point in our, in our lives not saying that you know I'm unhappy with where we are I think we're in a really great place because we're able to make shifts um, especially me being like pretty like fairly new maybe a year into my career um and realizing this so soon and also being a travel therapist kind of allows me to have a little bit more leniency in terms of like time off and whatnot i'm bradley working remotely um but yeah i've just i think i've kind of filtered into the system after college where I'm just like I started working and supposedly this was supposed to be like the reward for all of the hard work that you put in but for whatever reason I'm just not feeling that and I'm feeling like I'm just going through the motions right now um, doing what I feel like I'm supposed to be doing working full-time and making money, saving money to then purchase a home and, you know, live the, I wouldn't say American dream, but kind of just live the basic kind of, what, what is the word? Just like go. The expected. Yeah. yeah, the expected route of like what you should be doing in your late 20s. Um, and I'm not saying like I don't want to buy a house and I don't want to have kids and all these things, but I just feel that there's 
so much more life to live outside of just this like nine to five to then just keep doing that over and over again and not really like experience life just kind of like do it because you're here and you have to like survive um so yeah been craving like adventure i've been craving a change in scenery and schedule and like just maybe a fresh start maybe like a new mindset around what it is i want my life to look like um <clears throat> so yeah all that to say we're on our way to home depot because Bradley and I have a similar interest in, I guess like foundationally wellness and like sustainability in a sense. Um, he's an environmental engineer, so he kind of has, I don't want to speak for you, but how would you explain it? Well, I do civil work. Yeah. During, you know, like full time just having like, ha like you know your hobbies of you know growing plants and like you know building what you would consider like sustainable home infrastructure so I made like a hydroponics garden that we're gonna use mm -hmm. so yeah I mean there's like that overlap between like what you do or what I went to school for slightly and you know like my hobbies Right. Like that hobby in particular. Yeah. And just kind of going back to the basics of like what brings us joy. And I think a lot of that just comes from like simplicity. Like just very simple things. Like enjoying the sunshine and being able to go outdoors in the middle of the day. Which I can't do right now because I'm in a hospital all day and then... By the time I get out, I'm like fighting through traffic and then I'm home and it's like, I don't have energy to even go on a walk that I would want to go on with Ava, but I'm literally like glued to the couch or to like my desk chair. Cause I'm just like, I'm, I don't really have the energy to even want to like play with her or whatever. So, um, yeah, I think, and we also both have a similar interest in like modular living, like home, like tiny homes and not necessarily tiny but just like modular like very um minimal kind of like living and not to say we're like super environmental friendly or minimalists right now definitely not but i think we do live somewhat below our means naturally we don't tend to like be very flashy i definitely shop on the sale rack I'm not afraid to um, definitely not afraid to, um, what's the word? Thrift. <laughs> but, <clears throat> yeah, right now we live in a one bedroom and a den uh, apartment. So like a one and a half bedroom apartment. So it's fairly small for us with, with Ava. I mean, it's like, it's like the perfect size. And at some points I do feel like we outgrow our space, but... I tend to like want to purge more than anything versus like moving into a bigger space like I'd rather just get rid of things than like live in a larger home or something and just collect more things um I feel like I'm rambling but yeah I think our plans are somewhat shifting we've been talking a lot about like buying a home in the next few months to like a year but then obviously we have the wedding in October and our lease is up in November. So there's been discussion around like buying a home or if we should rent again, etc. But I don't know, it's just hard to say. It's hard to change things when you're like in a groove and you've just been like doing the same thing for a long time like it's hard to even reflect and be like oh wait I'm actually unhappy or I'm actually looking for something more than this but I feel like I have a very reflective nature I don't know if that's how you would say it but I tend to like 
reflect a lot. Yeah. Internal and like introspective. Introspective, yes. I'm very introspective. Like I tend to like analyze how I'm feeling in certain situations and I'll be at work and literally just be like wanting to like close my laptop and just like walk out so that I can like like I'll be <laughs> babe I didn't tell you, but I'll be talking to a patient like in the patient's room. Ooh boy. Wally <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll be like talking to a patient in a patient's room and I'll start like just like going into a daze and like staring outside the window and like looking at the trees. Like, <laughs> what? I'm serious. Like, I'm sorry. But my point is like in the middle of the day, I'll just be like, bro, I just want to like feel the sunshine. Like I want to go on a walk. I want to like be outside. I want to like lay in the grass and picnic or like just like get away from this like trapped feeling of just like I need to work to pay bills to like eat and like live to then go back to work and pay bills to like eat and thrive to then well not thrive just like survive but and I'm constantly reminded every day how like short life is and how fragile things are and like how time can just like pass you by like it's already May like do you understand we were just cheersing to a new year. That feels a really long time. Ago. And it's May. Not for me. Like, it's already May in my mind. And I'm like, not saying like I haven't done anything since the new year, but it just feels crazy. Like, it just feels so fast. And I was telling Bradley, like, how slow and how long the days felt when we were traveling. And how much I just want to like, how much I know is possible to experience in a day and how little I experience on a regular basis, on like a regular day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I hope I'm making sense. But basically we're going to Home Depot. <laughs> I haven't told you guys why we're going to Home Depot. We're going to Home Depot to get a planter box. No, no, no. I want to make Okay, one. no. He wants to make a planter box from scratch. Like, are you getting wood today? No, I'm not getting that stuff yet. But okay. I'm just getting the soil, some soil, because we have we need soil for like the pots and a couple of seeds. To okay, start. so just like basics, because it's pretty much summertime now. It's gonna start warming up a little bit more, even though it's like 52 degrees right now outside. But it should be warming up soon, so we want to start doing some more like gardening and whatnot while we can. Seeds, like a couple months ago, but it's okay. Yeah, they don't take long to germinate. Yeah, and I just want to get back to basics, even like when it comes to consumption, like eating and um, yeah, just a lot of like mindset shifts and just, uh, yeah, my brain. Did I cover everything, babe? I think so. I think you did, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of have the travel bug like my mom. But I was telling Bradley, I think the the urge to travel isn't necessarily to... Well, it is to experience different things and see different countries. But I think it all just stems from wanting to escape this, like, hamster wheel. <laughs> like, I just want to feel lost a little bit. Like, I want to feel like I'm in a new place so that I can, like, just come back to life a little bit so yeah for all of you watching that maybe are physical therapists or want to be physical therapists I'm not saying that being a physical therapist is horrible but I just think you have to know what's for you and what's not I'm not saying it's not for me but I think just in this moment in time I need to reevaluate some of the things that I'm doing and like why I'm doing them what I want to be doing and what aligns with me in this point of my life um, and yeah that's pretty much it so we are at Home Depot so let's go get these things that we need
Thanks for listening to my rant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bradley always listens to my rants. Right, babe? Why does it always go into spot focus? Yeah, Bradley always listens to my rants. He's very attentive as well, so I appreciate that. Appreciate you. <laughs> We're trying to be spontaneous again like we used to be and just do things during the week that we actually want, like go to Home Depot. Yeah, and go to Target and... Get my goji berries. Get random desserts and stuff. And my cocoa nibs. Cocoa nibs. So that we don't feel old anymore. Like old grandparent farts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you feel like an old grandparent fart sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, when I'm sitting on the couch eating popcorn and playing overcooked on a Friday. Skinny pop. <laughs> definitely feel old. Yeah. We gotta get out there again. Yeah, babe. We live in life. We do what we can. Come on, let's go. Okay. Your regular potting mix. Yeah? Yeah, because we need to repot the sneak pot. That should be good. I don't remember which one we got last time. Protects against over and under watering. Moisture control. Okay. We got this one. Our snake plant got destroyed in the store. <laughs> Vigoro Monstera. Vigoro? Vigoro. Vigoro Monstera. It's only 15. Back from Home Depot. And we stopped at Target and I got this passion tea from Tazo. I don't know if you can see that. It's one of my favorites. It's delicious. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Should try it with me. It's so good. And we picked up this new plant, baby. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a uh, Monstera. Do you remember what type of Monstera, babe? I think it's a Vigora. Vigora? Vigora. Vigora. Possibly. Don't quote us, but this is our new plant, baby. And then we got some soil right potting mix we got a bunch of seeds where are the seeds you want me to grab them? they're outside no. oh that's fine well we got um we got tomatoes kale um lettuce romaine lettuce and bell peppers i think i think that's all we got so yeah it was a successful trip. But it's like 10 o'clock and I need to shower and get ready for work. So, yeah, guys, probably just going to close out the vlog here because I feel like I've been inconsistent with this one. But yeah, you kind of get the gist of how the week is going. I'll probably pick you guys back up on the weekend. Yeah. Cheers to changes and to new beginnings. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Cheers to new seasons of life. And new plant babies. Hey, right, mama. Come here. Come say bye. Come say hi to the vlog. Come. Oh, girl. Come here. Why are you letting me pick you up? You're so annoying. Get up. Girl. You try to get her up and she'll scream. Say bye. Um, oh, not to me. No. I'm, I'm not. I'm not leaving. Say bye to the vlog. Hi, Mom. All these properties and staff, you can't. You can't.